Hey, how's it going? Jimmy has no garage here. This is a follow-up video for the Loctite repair I made on the Miata. Soon after the repair, I went on a 700 miles road trip. If you haven't checked out that video, click here. The car drove fine throughout the whole road trip, but two weeks after I came back from the road trip, I felt that the car was much slower again. So I took a look at the marks I made on the boat and the pulley and unfortunately they don't line up anymore. That means that my repair has failed once again. So I decided to do it one more time. Also my newly installed front seal was still leaking which is freaking annoying. So I took everything off and looked at the rotation of the crankshaft and it looked fine. And I later found out that I actually didn't push the front seal in all the way. If you don't have a tool or like a pipe to install the front seal, I would suggest you stacking the old and new seal together, put them in place, put the gear in place and tighten the bolt. That way you can push the new seal all the way in. In the past when I do the timing belt job, I always destroy the front seal. So I didn't get to try this method, but this time I did thanks to this too. And it stopped leaking. Nice. Thinking back, I think the way I used the crank holding tool wasn't like the best. I overthought the whole thing and I didn't let it dry enough. <laughs> Actually, I let it dry for two days already. I figured the gap is too big for the Loctite to dry. Looking at the official video from Loctite, it seems to me that the Loctite has to be in close contact with the metals. So instead of solely using Loctite to fill the gap, this time I cut some paper clips up and poke them into the gap. This way I'll use less Loctite and the Loctite actually has something to hold on to, so hopefully it will dry faster. This time I did it the traditional way. I placed the crank holding tool against the alternator and tightened the bolt right away. I waited two days again for it to dry and I drew a marking on the bolt and the pulley again so that in the future I can see if it moved or not. So all in all, I would say that this time the repair is successful because one week after I did this repair again, I went on a track day and I drove the car hard for the whole day, high RPMs. It didn't leak and the timing mark didn't change this time till now. In the past, I always thought that the Loctite fix was irreversible, but turns out you, you can actually do it repeatedly. This is the fourth time or the third time I've done it on this engine. So don't be afraid to do your own repair. I hope you will find this video helpful and let's keep all the short nose 1.6 engines on the road. Thank you. See you next time.